Hi, I'd like to show you how to use the Canvas Equation Editor. And so the first thing I want to tell you is that there's a nice um, handout of shortcuts that you can get. If you go to this URL that's on the screen, it's busynessgirl.com slash resources slash handouts. And on that page, you'll find one called Tips for and Structure Canvas Equation Editor that tells you all sorts of shortcuts um, for getting buttons that are on the screen. So these are all just things that the buttons will generate as well. Um, and if you want a, a quick kind of quick and dirty reference for it, then go ahead and print it first. So if we want to put in an equation here, we're just going to start with exponents and subscripts. This is the equation editor right here, so we're going to insert a math equation. And so if we wanted to type, say, x squared, we type x and then use the caret, so shift 6 key, and then we could start typing in the exponent. So we can type in the exponent, to leave the exponent, just use the arrow key like this. So we could type x squared plus 3x minus 4 equals 0, or something like that. Let's actually make this a minus, so it's factorable here. Okay, and if we wanted to go ahead and solve this, you'll notice that pressing enter does not give you another line. So you need to go ahead and insert the equation, then go to a new line, and insert another equation, which is pretty fast. So then you could say, all right, I want to factor that, so let's make sure we factor it correctly. That would be, uh, we need a parentheses, so that's, when you notice when you press a parentheses, you get both sides. So that'd be x minus 4 times parentheses x plus 1, and remember you can just use the arrows to get out of those blue boxes, equals 0. We'll insert that. And let's say that we factored wrong. If you want to edit it, just click on it, and then click on the equation, and you'll be back in there. So we've got that one okay, and so then we'd have a solution of x equals 4 and x equals 1. So we could put in one more line here, and say x equals 4 and x equals 1. And you can put spaces in there too. Okay, so that would give us um, some work shown on the screen. So that shows you how to do exponents. I also want to show you how to do things like subscripts, fractions, square roots, and, and roots. So let's start with subscripts here. If we go back into the equation editor and we want to add x sub 1 plus x sub 2, for example, we would do x and then sub is an underline. So that's x sub 1, arrow to get out, x underline sub 2. Um, so that's like the, uh, sorry, not underline, underscore. So um, underscore gives you that. Um, you can also get these right off of the menu here, sub and soup. Notice that um, they do have text that will generate it as well, although it's a bit longer to type that text, so I would use a caret for superscript and an underscore for subscript. Okay, what else can we do? We can do fractions easily. Just use the division key right below the question mark symbol on your keyboard. So we could do, for example, 3 division key 4 and use arrow to get out to make 3 fourths plus 1 division key 2 for 1 half. We can even do more complicated things, like let's say we want to do x plus 3 divided by x plus 4. Just type x plus 3, use your um, shift and your arrow keys to highlight it, and then as soon as you type your division key, you'll see there that you get into the denominator, and you can use your arrow keys to get out. So that'll give you fractions. We can also do roots pretty easily. Um, you can get them right off the menu here, and you'll see that there's a text that generates it. It's backslash sqrt. So if I use that, backslash sqrt, as soon as I hit space, it generates the symbol. So I could do the square root of 5 plus backslash sqrt space generates the symbol, the square root of 3, like that. If I want an nth root, you'll see again that if you hover over it, you'll see what generates nth root is backslash nth root. So if I type here, backslash nth root, and then a space, it'll generate an nth root, and I can say the third root, and I can use the arrow keys again. So I could say plus the third root of 5, and I could do it again, either getting it from the menu like this, or typing it. So I could say the third root of 2. Now you can use the arrow keys to go from box to box here, or you can use the tab key to do that. Um, You'll see all of these hotkeys, or all of these expressions, are written on this tips sheet. So there's a caret for an exponent, underscore for a subscript, square root, um, the text that generates square root, nth root, and fraction, like that. Probably easier just to type the division key than to type the word fraction. There are also some useful commands like less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, all sorts of set notation. Um, and those will all be helpful to you. Another one that you might want to be aware of is how to get um, composition, notation, and infinity, which you can get from these two menus right here. Or you can get them off of the commands here. So if you go into Greek letters, you should see here um, 
things like theta right there and a pi key. Um, you've got operators, relationships, arrows, delimiters, and miscellaneous. And miscellaneous is actually where you're going to find that elusive infinity key. So if you look here, it's right there. Now notice that you can click on miscellaneous and then pull down um, this menu here. But if you if you um, highlight this and then and don't click, you'll see that the menu goes away pretty fast. So uh, just make sure that you are generating what you want to. Uh, just one more note, if you need both a subscript and a superscript on something, try um, first doing the subscript and then the superscript or vice versa. So for example, if I want to make this x sub 1 squared, I would first do the subscript of 1, get out of it, and then do the superscript of 2. And then what I'll get is x sub 1 squared. When you're done with everything, just make sure you click on Insert Equation, and you'll see it appear there on the screen.